Hello everybody, it is I, Crystal Flame 360 or if you prefer, just Crystal and welcome to the small corner of the internet where I just do whatever I feel like doing. In today's video, obviously I'm in Playtown, um, I just got to the chase here. So this is going to be the second part of this new series I started where I just do a bunch of risky things in a hood that I'm not too attached to. Basically the purpose of this hood anyway was to eventually lead it to unplayableness, if that makes any sense. So most likely doesn't but you know, I'll keep it. So the aim of today's, well the aim of last video that was in this series, geez, um, was deleting a playable sims data and observing the effects from that which just erased the guy from the household. It didn't really do much else. It did that but it also left um, Somalian subject memories in place of that sim and which in that case it was Zetrario. So poor Janelle no longer has a husband and young K Kaito, I think I called him, no longer has a dad a bit sad really but the objective of today's video is to clone sims and no i don't mean it as in cloning them with body shop and then well sim pe and then cloning them again in body shop to get a safer version of that sim i kind of mean it as in full on cloning them using build by mode because you can do that and i'll demonstrate once we go into a household. Okay, so I decided to load this household which um, has enough people to mess around with for a couple minutes I guess and this guy who's on his way to make the beds because he's the local maid apparently and yeah so basically how we do this, who's doing nothing at the moment? Um, she's watching TV. Right, she's doing nothing, so we'll use Ripley Grunt here. So, what we do to basically clone them, we use the moves ob move objects cheat. So, after you've entered build, build by the mode, you then basically Select the sim you want. Oop, put it on the wall there. While well, holding either control or shift, I'm trying to figure out which it is because I can't remember how I did it the first time. Oh, it was shift. Um, <laughs> it was shift. Um, you basically hold shift while dragging the sim at the same time and then you basically now called, well, now I've done, I've called three instances of the same character file. <laughs> so, basically, it's literally her copied two times, two extra times, and they will share memories, they will share relationships, because they are the exact same sim. So, we'll just see how they interact with the others here. They can interact with each other. Apparently the other one smells or something. Yeah, you, you, you do get the extra notifications and stuff. So she's gone to interact with her love interest, but she won't be bothered because she's a romance sim, so... I don't know why people keep gagging at her, but... but... As you can see, he'd have no extra memories of meeting her at all, because it's basically the same sim. We won't get chaos unless it was a different aspiration, but... Um, of course she's talking about that. Oh, she's talking about Wu Hu. So someone who will respond to jealousy would be 
either of these two. Um, we'll make it a little bit later to give us more time to let the chaos unfold because it's all like cold. I, I don't know actually I could save this because it's plague down. Um, oh great, she's gonna have a poor Tancred. She's gonna have a bunch of them. Right, so yeah, Owen just fell in love with this clone here and it's basically this one, he's, yeah, they share a relationship panel. But I don't know what she keeps trying to do though. <laughs> it's like he's in a... <laughs> What's going on? But this terrible relationship result is having an effect on the main one too. Which is interesting. Um, wait for these guys to finish, then we'll do the same with them. Actually, I think these two are just upstairs. Nope. That's because I can't see her. She's being a narcissist. Of course she is. Okay, so now that Tancred's finished, we'll clone her next. Three times to make it consistent, I guess. Okay, we got one and another. <laughs> but I put the original through the table. Oops. And then we'll see the response to Travis flirting with one of them because I'm pretty sure Tancred's jealousy is normal. Um, actually, I might not because I don't want the relationships to be all skew if so I may not save this. But still. <laughs> Now, as far as Travis is concerned, they're all his girlfriend, um, but... They seem to be in a permanent state of stinking about it. Okay, here, here we go. We'll just see what happens here. But they're too carried away getting assaulted by the clones of their sister. Travis now. Okay. I don't think they care. Are they doing in the hat and the dating? So yes, this would have an effect on the main one, because they all share a character file. It's interesting. And she's getting ganged up on by the many clones of this bit. Weird. Um, oh! I forgot! I was like, who's that flat over here? Edward, really. I forgot he existed. Jane, what are you doing? Where is she? 
Oh, behind him, behind the stairs. <laughs> oh, it's because she's smacking the other tanker, right, tanker door. Right? Really, Edward? You're trying to bond with one of the clones. Yeah, she's going to get the um, pros of that, I think. No, this is not going up. That's because it was from his end. Um, yep, it's gone up. Yeah, it's gone up. Oh! Yeah, something just, just happened. Um, he flirted with the other tank, but then one of the other tanks. and So now... Yeah, they think they're cheating on one more with the other one. It's going to be a bit awkward. That's basically all there is to it. Um, we can trigger a net self, I think, by having Ripley interact with another one of her clones. Um, so, like for example, if she were to go up to this one and initiate a conversation. Go, go away, Tanker, I'm trying to do an experiment here. And we had them kind of... They, they, they have nothing on the relationship panel, but oh, she, she, won't, she won't get him that self. I thought you could. Apparently not. Basically, oh! <laughs> oh <no. laughs> now the tongues hate each other, that's great. But that's pretty much all there is to it. It basically just calls two instances of the same character file. And this is also the story behind why the glitch with apartment residencies happens too. Which is interesting. Now we can make these selectable, um, but as you can see, because I'm making them selectable, it's making all three of them selectable. So I can't control an, in any individual. Actually, I think I can. What the heck? <laughs> oh my god. What was I expecting, really? But yeah, it's, it's basically just three of the same kind of now. And since the school boss will be coming for them shortly, um, this is where we'll end the video. Um, if you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like. And if you want to see more of what I do, then you can subscribe. Finally, to the point for the first time ever. Um, hello. Again, if you decide to stay, thank you, and I will see you next time.